Hey guys, I realize that because I'm doing the vlogs, I haven't really been doing too many journaling videos, and I thought I would kind of incorporate my journal update into the vlogs. So, as you can see, I've done a lot of journaling in the past few months since my last update. This was number 49, the one, the journal that was previous to my going to London. And in England, I actually brought two journals. I'm so happy I did because knowing that one was only 64 pages and it only lasted me about a couple weeks or so, especially with traveling, you do have a lot of things that you want to paste in, glue in, photos and whatnot. I added quite a bit and so I'm glad I brought the second one. And it worked out, so that was 50 and 51. This is actually not part of my regular journal. This actually started as a project that was supposed to be a traveling journal, which sadly did not work out. Um, after about a month and a half of searching, like actually reaching out to the people that were still listed as contacts, I managed to get my journal back and only two people really did anything with it. Which is kind of sad. I like the concept of the traveling journal, but you have to have people that are dedicated to it. And unfortunately in this one, the people weren't. Uh, people were holding on to it for much longer than uh, the rules stated. Even the coordinator of the project wasn't even very helpful in getting my notebook back, so I had to really search it out and you know, just a side note, if you plan on doing one of those projects, get everybody's email addresses, get a hold of their social media accounts because you need to have a way of reaching them. If you've lost your notebook, if you want to get your notebook back and recall it, get some information because otherwise you don't want to wait until last minute until, you know, everybody has stopped communicating to find that information. Anyway, so because there were only a few pages uh, filled out, I actually went ahead and because I've been unpacking things, I went ahead and glued in a bunch of things that were just kind of like memories and whatnot. So it's kind of like a Mod Podge scrapbook of things, which isn't quite finished yet, but I like that it kind of holds a lot of random memories and, and things. Like these are stamps that I used to rip out from the free things that my dad got. Um, a card that I made something from a traveler's notebook that I ordered, projects, pictures, vintage vintage things that I collected that I really had no purpose for but decided to just scrapbook. So This really helped in me kind of eliminating a lot of the paper things that I was collecting. So it worked out. So that's this regular journal. I'm not counting it as part of my like numbered journals. Number 52 followed up my uh, last travel journal right here. As you can see, I kind of went crazy with some of the stickers. This one fell out, actually. So I'm going to have to glue it back on. Back to my favorite insert, which is the 013 Midori insert, which is the super thin paper, and it's double the amount of pages of the regular notebooks, which have 64 pages. And I'm currently on... Uh, in my Midori number 53 which is another 013 and I am actually getting to the end of it. I've, You can see I'm trying to use up a lot of the washi too so I've kind of added the borders in and once that finishes I think I've just got like four or five more pages left in that. I was thinking of switching to one of these two inserts. I think for a nice change I might switch to the Happy Scrappy one. This one came in, oh I can't remember what month it was, but it was the one that was makeup inspired. So it's got a nice border. I won't have to worry too much about decorating. And because it's only 64 pages and I'm still going through a lot of my memorabilia and whatnot, it'll be just enough to cover the next three weeks or so because after that I've actually got a separate journal uh, set aside for my road trip and I've got kind of like a travel theme similar to this right here 
going for the road trip out to Seattle. So I think I might stick to this one and then save the grid paper one for later. So that's my quick journal update there. Um, maybe... <laughs> so you know how there's like beauty empties? I kind of save like my Midori empties. Only the things that really I have opinions on. So I finished the last of my Pilot Varsity fountain pens. These are great beginner fountain pens if you don't know how you like it or if you've never tried a fountain pen but you don't want to invest the money in. It's a nice medium point, nice dark ink. It doesn't soak quickly into the 013 notebook paper. So I would suggest if you were to try this when you're writing on this to have like a separate sheet. What I like to do is have a cut out piece of grid paper. So not only do I use this as a guideline for having straight lines in my notebook, but I can have a second one to lay over the page that I just written. It absorbs the extra ink and it doesn't ruin your previously written page. That's my little tip for you if you're using fountain pens or any pens that have a darker saturated ink that doesn't dry as quickly. I do want to point out the Jinho Jin Hao, I don't know how you pronounce that. You would think I'd know. Uh, these cartridges for a fountain pen, I use the Bauer Bayer fountain pen, work really well. These are the taller ones. I did once order the shorter ones and they were terrible. They were like a gray ink even though they touted themselves as being a nice deep ink. And I like a nice deep bold ink. These, the taller ones, are, are really nice. So. And that's what I use with this fountain pen right here. I'm not normally into these kind of, I don't know, tracky, wheely sort of adhesives. I find them really expensive. But this surprised me. I actually do like the glue dots. Now, I thought maybe I would just try one because it was on sale, but it was going to, you know, run out on me after a few uses. This lasted so long. I was actually quite surprised at how much was stored into this little wheel. The only thing is, it's just, it's rather bulky, and so, I don't know, it just doesn't travel well. I wanted to bring it with me to England when I was using, uh, when I needed adhesives for, like, cellophane or plasticky type things, but this was just too bulky to carry around, so I didn't. I actually wish that they made these, like, half the size. If they made it, like, half the size here, I would consider getting more of these. So in a pinch, I think it's nice to have around. I don't know, maybe in the future I might get some more. But yeah, very surprised at the uh, yield factor on that. And lastly, I stopped by Joann's and they happen to have Heidi swap Christmas things out. I wasn't going to get these but Heidi Swap things are hard to come by around here, and if they are there, they sell out very quickly, especially the washi tape things. So I got a set of the washi tape Christmas sheets, and it actually comes with three sheets of designs right there. I did have a coupon, too. It was like 25% off your entire purchase, so I decided to pick those up. I like Christmas-themed things, so I know I'll use them, and because they're so, you know, flat, I wasn't worried that I was, you know, pretty much adding to the bulk of the things that I just got rid of. And then I got the decorative sticker book, which are clear stickers. And there's three sheets of those. Is it three sheets? Yeah. And here's the second one. I'll show you the back, too. So if you have a Joann's near you, oh, it's like snowflakes, you can't really see, that's why. Uh, so you have, if you have a Joann's near you or any place that sells the Heidi Swap things, they're out now. They should be on sale soon. Joann's usually has them on sale. So, and that's what I picked up. That's my journal update for now. I'm going to have lunch now, and I'll check in with you guys later.